morning. This little light of mine. What? I'm gonna let it shine. How? This little <laughs> light of mine. <laughs> I'm gonna make it shine. Let it up. Sounds this like a campfire song, Jess. I'm gonna let it shine, let it shine. Shine, shine, shine all the time. I don't know the words of that song. This is fire. Good morning. Welcome to Wait Thirsty. I'm Jess. I'm Sam. And how good is a flame? Don't melt wax on my laptop. Oh, I always forget this is a computer. <laughs> we'll keep it back here. It's not just us and our people. <laughs> <laughs> so, fire Sam. I don't understand it. I don't understand it either, but I do love it. Me too. So much. And it is such a great way to invite people into your sure home. It is. Light up your house and let them in. <laughs> it's such a great way to cook. It it's such is. a great way to cook. Like whenever I, because I love to cook, whenever there's a fire, I'm like, what am I going to cook on it? Yes. And what do you cook on it? Well, if I am scraping the barrel, probably damper. Yes. But if I'm fancier, a stew, Ooh. a cake. <laughs> that is fancy. Is that called a bunt cake? A sausage. A sausage. Sausage on a stick is a great thing to Marshmallow. cook. Marshmallow. No, I'm, I don't like mushrooms. I mean, they're gross. I don't even love them, but I love they this, are fun. Put them on a stick and don't get a fancy marshmallow purchased stick. You have to get a stick from If you the can't bush. find a stick, you can't roast your marshmallow. No. That was my rule with my kids. Earning rights. I, you, I'm not going to roast your marshmallow for you. If you want to enjoy it, you do the work. Just don't get an oleander bush. No. Or maybe a lantana, I don't know. Yeah, there's probably a heap of poison sticks. Well, you do your own research. (laughs) Disclaimer. I love a fire because for four years we lived on top of Mount Dandenong in a tent. And we had, that was our thing. We did fires. Baked potato, that's the thing. Sweet potato, banana. Oh, I'm not a fan of cooked banana. I'm not a fan of cooked banana, but kids love it. You may be. You might love it. So invite people to your house for a fire. And it doesn't even have to be a big bonfire. You can just get a little old drum out of a washing machine. Boys in particular love fire, don't they? Yeah. Boys just want to poke it, get a stick on fire, make fire in the sky. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great... And the smell. I love that smoky smell. Yeah. It's great. And the conversations that come out around a campfire. Because you're sitting, you're forced to sit still for a minute and you have to have conversation. It's you great. could make up some songs around the campfire. Oh, do you know what else you could do? Some people do this, is they do this special trick where you make your arms go through the other person and then you pretend. <laughs> Should we do it? You stay there. Oh, no. I, I don't know if I can do this. Okay, let's try. Okay. Hi, everybody. I'm Sam. Where's Jess? We don't know. Uh, let's have a smoothie. Do you want some smoothie? <laughs> oh, it's not as fun as it's not as fun as you and Luke. <laughs> well, my arms couldn't get. No, I didn't, it was. We didn't organise it properly. No. But that's a cool thing to do at the fire <laughs> for sure. I love a good fire. So Samantha, Second Timothy chapter three. Powerful. Let's read chapter. it. It's a super, super good one. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, it's all highlighted here. Darren's been here. The whole Bible should be highlighted. That's the rule. It's <laughs> a great first line. Shall I read it? You should. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. For men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud. Blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, designers, despisers even of those that are good. Traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasure more than lovers of God. Having a form of godliness but denying the power thereof, from such turn away. For of this sort are they which creep into houses Mm. and lead captive silly women laden with sins, led away with divers' lusts, ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. Now as Janus and Jamboree's withstood Moses, so do these also resist the truth, men of corrupt minds, 
reprobate concerning the faith. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, as theirs also was. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, manner of life, purpose, faith, long-suffering, charity, patience. Persecutions, afflictions, which came unto me at Antioch, at Iconium, at Lystra, what persecutions I endured, but out of them all the Lord delivered me. Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned them. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. Another one we should oh, read together. Yes. Let's do it together. All, All scripture, scripture is given by inspiration, inspiration of, of God, God and is profitable for doctrine, for, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. In that the man of God may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works. I took the liberty, Sam, of oh. doing something that we did yesterday, or you oh. did yesterday, in looking at the other so-called oh, right. Bibles. Tell us. And one thing I did notice, this big list of things that will happen in the last days, yeah. uh, oh my goodness, they water it down. Oh. They change things. You know, you're not going to find without natural affection. Any any of them. What does that even mean? Well, natural the opposite affection, of natural affection. Natural affection is what God created yeah. between a man and a wife. And I do also believe, like, natural affection of a mother for her children, mm. you know, for a husband to love on his family. Yep. You know, I think that's all natural affection. But when it's unnatural affection... Are you playing soccer, baby? <laughs> you can use your imagination to work out what unnatural affection is. Yeah, that's yeah. right. And I am actually someone who doesn't like things unnatural. I like things in their natural state. But I mean, it's nice to have a little candle like this. But the real thing is much better. Yeah. But how much more so with affection? Mm. Um, and also the start of it that says, this know also that... It, in the last days, perilous times shall come. Perilous is, what kind of a word is perilous? It's dangerous. It's, and it's not used a lot. Peril, you're in peril. It's, it's worse than danger, isn't it? It sounds more serious than danger. Yeah, and we know that the time that is to come will be the worst in human history. So this so. is talking about which last days, Jess? Well, I believe that it's... I think it. I think it's talking about the lead up to the tribulation, but yep. definitely the tribulation yeah, as well, yeah. because there's there has to be a transition into it. This kind of behaviour that pe people are going to be having, they've already got it. Yeah, we've seen it definitely an increase. It's just going to multiply. Yeah. Yeah, like the disobedience to parents. Mm. There was a time when you, you're at a public place, and a parent would say something to a child, even if they weren't a yeah. godly family, yep. and the child would listen to the parent. It was rare that you would see retaliation. Now the parent doesn't even bother. Yeah. Like, it's actually very scary, mm. um, that kind of behavior. And it says here, having a form of godliness, yep. but denying the power thereof from such turn away. It's not even the wick, just the wicked yeah. behavior in here. It's talking about even those that appear to be doing good. Yep. But really, you're not meant to hang out with them. Yeah. Um, so following on from that where it says, for, this, for of this sort are they which creep into houses and mm -hmm. lead captive silly women, laden with sins, led away with diverse lusts. So they're just going in, talking nonsense. But these are people with a form of godliness. Mm -hmm. So when I read that, I think of all those millionaire preachers mm -hmm. that are out there mm -hmm. who are creeping into silly women's homes. Yep. Now they're watching them on their podcasts or their videos, yep. buying their books. Yep. These people are becoming millionaires. And what what they're presenting is a form of godliness. Yep. Um but it's evil at its core, yep. ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of the truth. So 
if you're soaking up all of the teachings of these particular people, yep. you are ever learning. I'm trying to learn, That's trying right. to learn, yep. but you're never actually getting to the core of what the truth is because the truth is only... Newsflash. <laughs> That's right. Um, and then it follows on in verse 8. Yep. Who are those people? Yes. Yeah, so Planners and Jambres. Uh, I don't believe it actually says their names back in the <clears throat> Old Testament, but it was the magicians yeah. that were like Doing counteract... Tricks. Trying to counteract Moses' yeah. uh, godly natural, things. Yeah. yeah, like, you know, the staff turning into a snake. Yeah. And then they had the same thing, that they could turn things into snakes. This is actually a thing. They yep. did that. Yeah. And then Moses' snake ate their snakes. Yeah. So, so obviously, <laughs> yeah, more powerful. But um, they resisted the truth. Yep. Men of corrupt minds reprobate concerning yep. the faith. That is a newsflash. But they shall proceed no further, for their folly shall be manifest unto all men, yes. as theirs also was. So yeah. all of this, tr all this truth will be revealed. Mm -hmm. These silly preachers, in particular, and there's heaps of people that you know, groups of people that we could put in this category. Yeah. But that's just one that comes to mind. Like their wrongness will be revealed. Yeah, that's right, and that's why you know, man looks on the outward appearance, but God looks at the heart those heart things that were in there hidden will come. I mean, it can even look like a good thing. It doesn't even have to be something that looks bad. Yep. But um, the will of God is what we should be doing. Um, um, where does it say? Um, oh, so all scripture is given mm -hmm. by inspiration of God and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, mm -hmm. for instruction. instruction. In righteousness. Mm -hmm. That is such a powerful one. Yes. And just like we read um, about... Um, I've gone blank. Oh, about how to study the yep. Word of God. And that was last... 215, yeah. The last chapter. Yep. Um, this builds on that, saying that all Scripture is profitable. Yep. Um, <clears throat> it's all put there by God yep. for doctrine. Doctrine comes first. Yep. What do you mean? Doctrine, what do you believe? That comes first. You right. need to know what you believe first. Oh, before you can use it for reproof, for correction, and, and for, for instructing instruction. other people. Yes, and for your <gasps> own self. Great. So if you don't actually believe it and have it as your doctrine, But you, if you're not you? rightly dividing, how can you get the correct doctrine? I didn't. No. Yeah. And, Great. and you know what? Even if... You have the correct doctrine and you want to reprove, correct and instruct me in righteousness, which you should, if I don't rightly divide mm. and I don't have this as my doctrine, mm. I'm not going to listen to you. No. I'll be like, oh, she's a nice friend, but that was a bit awkward. I'm thinking it more of a yeah. you point of view rather than looking at it from a word of God point of view. Yeah. So you take the focus in the wrong spot. This, this, It's doctrine given by... This is given by the inspiration of God. Mm. That's crazy. <laughs> it's great. Um, so it's interesting at the end, though, that it says the man of God may be perfect. Mm -hmm. That's complete. Not thoroughly. Not thoroughly, but it's throughly. Okay. Throughly. Right through you. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Remember how you giggled when we were reading... <laughs> incontinent you know, oh yeah because that's do you know what that means well that means it means not being able to hold on to what's inside you it's not <laughs> being able to control <laughs> you have no sense of control that's right. what it is yeah so yeah when i worked in pharmacy we would mm. have those incontinent pads yeah and my heart went out to people that had to purchase that because yeah. that's not a fun purchase no but you know what it's useful and not being able to control yourself. This is talking about behavior. Mm. That was incontinent. I couldn't control myself. But I can. I can control myself. Having a sound mind helps you to control yourself. All these things actually could be fixed if you had doctrine in the right place and you had a sound mind. Yeah. You wouldn't be covetous. You wouldn't be boastful, proud. I mean, all these little things can creep in, Sam. Mm. Like, But... 
Um, they shouldn't. <laughs> I think it's interesting um, if we're talking about verse 16, all scripture. Mm-hmm. So at this time, what they had was... The Old Testament, which they referred to as the books of the law, the books of the prophets. Yes. And then um, towards the second century BC, they were also talking about something called the writings or the Psalms. Right. Or David's writings. Mm -hmm. But the, um, some of the epistles that we know that we've been talking about Mm -hmm. had been written as well. So at that point, it's not just saying all scripture, meaning Old Testament. And a lot of people do take it that way. Right. Um, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yep. It's the because whole... the Jews were referring, the Jews were referring to scripture as Old Testament. And you know, the only reason that Paul can write this at this point, we only have one chapter left. And according to, according to, this is our understanding. So we might be wrong, but according to what we've, studied yeah we believe that this is the last book ever written right i think i got that right but if if that is true then that would make sense that paul is saying this to timothy that all scripture because he's talking about all scripture i'm giving it now and he completes it all, right he puts it all yeah, in its yeah, right yeah, order yeah paul puts it all where it's meant to be yeah and then we have the complete word of god yeah um yeah and then that's obviously why there's no more need for the sign gifts yep. regarding prophecy or for more apostles or for more, more prophets apostles. that's right um yep just some dog activity um anyway so either way all scripture do you think God knew at the point that Timothy was writing this Paul. that there would be Paul was writing oh, this. Sorry, mm. Paul was writing this that there would be a completed Bible for us all to refer to yes. today. Absolutely. So I think God there's knows no that. reason for him to say all scripture unless he meant all scripture. That's right. Exactly. Close the book. No more to say. What is going on? There is a puppy Guys, party. What are you doing? What has she got? I don't know. She's got a cord. <laughs> Come here. Come here. <laughs> yeah. Can she give you baby. a kiss? She's not a little baby can puppy she, anymore. Can she do it on command? Her heart is racing and she wants to I play would with, too if she Amory... She wants to play with her friend. Ready? Yeah. Glory, look at me. Look at me. Kiss. Kiss. <laughs> That's that pretty so sick. gross. Because <laughs> what is that cord? <laughs> we'll work that anyway. out in a minute. <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us for Eight Thirsty yet again. Second Timothy is almost complete. We have one more and a recap. And then we're moving right along to Titus. I love Titus. Yes. We get to meet him. <laughs> we get to meet all these people. That's pretty cool. It'll be fun to do a picture of them all. What do you reckon they all look like? I feel like Titus is more like a sturdier little guy than yeah. Paul. Yeah, probably. Like a soldiery kind of guy i don't know why have you got scripture to back seems up like a that cool name appearance? i don't know just a vibe i guess Titus. it's like a little See, nuggety kid yeah a little nuggety kid that grows up to be a nuggety guy yeah 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 anyway we'll we'll see later well, could later be on in, in heaven <laughs> he's he's more like a paul my don't you reckon don't you reckon He's pretty zealous. Oh, I meant like the <laughs> stockiness. But you're talking about it anyway. Yeah. Anyway, we're becoming frivolous. No more vain babbling. <laughs> <laughs> Make yourself oh, a Oh, yeah. We'll see you tonight. Light a fire. For the campfire. Yeah. Have a great day. Bye. <laughs>